Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous superstar. Libra, welcome to your horoscope for the month of May, 2019. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now and an important one. There is a lot of energy playing out for you in a particularly important part of the sky and it has to do with profound and meaningful transformation and regeneration. It has to do with deciding what's working for you and what isn't and making changes and in this way this is the kind of month where there is so much power available to you that you truly can transform your life in meaningful ways that last well beyond this month even this year is over now I would also add to this, this is a part of the sky that has to do with profound intimacy and being known by another. It has to do with the truth, the truth of how you feel about yourself and a situation, about opportunities, about other people. And it's also connected to uh, your relationship with financial institutions, your understanding of wealth, your understanding of the emotional and spiritual wealth and the care of others that is available to you. So as you can see, this is a part of the sky that can feel very consequential, but it also holds tremendous promise and tremendous power. This is one of those months where you could find yourself truly transforming your circumstances for the better. And it starts with the new moon early in the month, right around the fourth of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, we are going to have this month's new moon. This new moon will be speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn and Pluto, speaking in harmony with Neptune as well. It is one of the more positive new moons that I have seen in a while. It has power and purpose and intensity and transformation. And it has a sense of inspiration to it as well. And I mentioned the part of the sky that it is taking place in and what a new moon represents is new opportunities, new beginnings, planting seeds that you trust will reap rewards, sometimes immediately, sometimes in the months to come, sometimes in the fullness of time. The great thing is with a month like this, you don't have to wait too long. And that is because we're going to have other supportive things take place, supportive moves of planets that are going to allow you to start to tap into the power of this energy and stretch it out throughout the month. And it starts with Mercury. Under the light of the new moon, Mercury will change signs and within days connect with Uranus in the sky. It is gonna be right in the middle of the month that Venus will move into the same part of the sky and connect with Uranus as well. Both Mercury and Venus will be reaching out to these same power players, will be activating the new moon point throughout this month, making it that much more important and meaning that the new blessings, the new opportunities, the wealth, the possibility, the transformation, and the real sense of beginning again in a way that you love, in a way that excites you, is going to be that much more magnified, but also is gonna reach that many more areas of your life as well. This is the kind of month where you can truly allow yourself to know where it is that you're ready to change course, where it is you are ready to move forward from a particular situation, and where it is that you can truly make the types of consequential changes that will facilitate changed circumstances from the inside out. There's a sense of perception, a sense of wisdom, a sense of getting to the root and to the core of a matter so that it can never be what it was before, but in the best possible sense. You know, the thing that sometimes people, when you go through change, when there's stuff that you've worked towards becoming a new person or just uh, improving your circumstances, there can sometimes be this fear of going back, but you can't go back. You can never go back to the space of not knowing what you now know. And that is part of the excitement of this energy. 
It is asking you, yes, to evaluate. It is asking you to embrace who it is that you can be, even if it's not so clear just yet. But what's more important is knowing whom it is that you no longer need to be. Now that can be an emotional state, that can be a physical state, that can be a psychological state. But in some way, you will experience some sense of a, a fresh perspective that leaves you feeling reborn. And I don't use that word lightly. We will uh, go through cycles uh, again and again. We will, uh, you know, there's a famous quote that says, die a thousand times before you die. And what that essentially means is, allowing yourself to realize where it is that you're ready to begin again or where it is that change needs to happen or where it is some part of you or the way that you've been or relationships or modes of being or ways of thinking are no longer serving you, have served their purpose in your life and you can let them go so that you can move towards a truly stronger and essential version of yourself. And I think that's why this part of the sky is also connected to wealth. You know, interestingly, as much as this part of the sky has to do with transformation and rebirth and psychological regeneration, physical regeneration, it's also connected to our relationship to financial institutions. So things like grants, loans, bursaries, insurance payments, tax returns, and benefits we may qualify for are covered here. But I think it's actually a more mundane expression of a larger expression. And the larger symbolism here is about understanding the resourcefulness that we have within us, understanding and redefining wealth in a sense of knowing that we are provided for emotionally and otherwise, that we are cared for is a great source of wealth that we can have in the world. And it is this type of wealth that is also highlighted for you this month. But yes, given the energy that is playing out on a more mundane level, uh, this does look like a time when you could find yourself making positive moves in terms of attracting practical financial wealth into your life, uh, attracting opportunities that allow you to build wealth or uh, to create money that's based on things like commissions or large one-time payments. And this can also be a month where if there was a payment or inheritance or uh, some decision, a financial settlement that you were hoping for, that could come through in very quick and surprising ways for you now. Now, as we navigate later into the month, we are going to have a full moon right around the 18th of the month. This full moon is happening in a part of the sky that is also connected to money as well, but it's money that you earn like a salary and money that you spend. And it's also connected to self-esteem and self-worth. It's the value you give to what you are giving. It's a sense of uh, putting your energy in the right perspective, knowing that your energy, your time, your creativity is valuable. And when you give it, there is uh, not just an assumption, but it is right to know that when you give from that place of appreciating yourself, the world will respond and will return that generosity to you. And so on a more mundane level, this full moon can speak to developments taking place on the front of your finances. Now this full moon is standing across the sky from Mercury. So there's this sense of balance, a sense of connections and conversations that are taking place. It is possible at this time that you are having uh, key conversations around what money it is that you could attract. Again, it could be benefits, it could be a loan, it could be a grant, so that you can uh, put things into place to actually create more income for yourself. So that can be part of the focus and the conversation. Now there may be negotiations, there may be documents as well, uh, contracts as well can be part of this. The other part of this though is considering what you want to invest in, where it is that you want to put your resources so that you can generate a, a higher sense of whether it is a higher sense of income, whether it is uh, being more mindful about how you're spending your money so that it affirms a healthy sense of self-value. So all of that is covered here, but of course, this connection can also speak very profoundly to changes taking place within you that lead you to a healthier sense of self-love. Where it is that you're willing to do the work, and the work is, uh, 
is pointed out here at this full moon. We do have a connection with Pluto taking place, but it does suggest that you have to tap into it more consciously. If you want change, you have to be willing to work towards that change. And if you are willing to work towards it, the blessings will be there. And so where it is that there's work to be done to affirm a healthy sense of self-love, with a little bit of willingness, the work can be done and the rewards will be there as well. At the very least, this can also speak to a focus on things like wanting promotions or wanting to in some way raise your income and thinking about what steps you need to take to move yourself in that direction. You may be looking at something like working uh, by yourself, working from home or working with homes as part of what's gonna help you to generate more income. This could be an area of interest, but it's more so an area of cultivation. I'm not necessarily seeing instant rewards in that regard, but what I am seeing is that it can be intriguing and if that's something you want to do, the steps to make it happen can show up for you now. Now, when it comes to matters of love, Venus is on the move mid-month, but at least for the first half of the month, Venus remains in the sign opposite yours. And this can be really nice for love. If you're in an established bond, it can make partners that much sweeter and nicer. And it makes it that much easier to attract love into your life that has real long-term potential. Mid-month, once Venus changes signs and moves into a much more consequential placement, it does suggest that there's gonna be a real desire to connect with someone authentically. And on another level, this can be a really nice placement the last two weeks and into next month as well, that can be really nice for your spouse's income as well. So if you're open to meeting someone new, uh, yeah, the first half of the month can be really nice for connecting with new people. I would invite you to stay open, uh, but with that new moon energy, it looks like any interaction you have can feel really big, can feel uh, really important. Uh, you're wondering about hidden dynamics that are playing out there as well. Now, ultimately, what is really going on under the surface is gonna be revealed in surprising ways. It's gonna come out of nowhere, especially if it's someone that you connect with early in the month. So you might as well just enjoy the process. But yes, the first two weeks of the month in particular, attracting someone with real long-term potential certainly is there. For those of you who are getting to know somebody, this is about you considering whether or not you really could be with this person for the bigger picture. So if you've just started dating somebody, you know, the energy this month doesn't look to be light at all. It looks to be one where you are understanding the larger consequences of what is there what could be and i do think that you may gain some very powerful insights a perception into the motivations of this person you are going to glimpse some truth perhaps very much by surprise and it is going to be a make or break thing uh, you can expect this under the light of the full moon as we approach that in the second half of the month for those of you in an established bond what an amazing time it is all this focus on very consequential issues. As I mentioned, this can focus also on your spouse's income. And it looks like there are a lot of blessings there where it comes to the money that your partner is generating and bringing in and thereby able to bless your life. So you can expect your partner maybe getting more busy or maybe just attracting really big opportunities. That's a nice way this energy can manifest. Another is just getting to know each other more deeply being willing to be more honest with each other, more intimate with each other, more vulnerable, emotionally vulnerable with each other. It is times like these where you may find yourself growing closer and ultimately strengthening the bond. What I love about this month for you, well look, there is a lot here, but I do love how. Uh, it is one of those times where you're able to get to the truth of a matter. At the same time though, at least in the first half of the month, other people and aligning with others professionally or personally just seems to be the sweet spot. It's that much easier to have people in your life uh, who bring sweetness and softness and light and joy and pleasure. And it is ultimately this that reminds you that it is other people that can be a gift to you and can facilitate gifts in your life as well. But for all this, thanks to the truly uh, truthful energy, the energy that gets to the core, to the source, 
you truly are on the verge of a, a rebirth. And this is you, but better, a more honest and authentic and empowered version of yourself than you knew before. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.